it ain't one Freedom is sexy. Just incredible TV. Hey everyone. Um, so, you know, a little while ago I was talking about the idea of going to Alaska, or at least you know, getting out on the road and and doing a little bit of exploring. Even though this is more of an urban camping channel, obviously, um, showing how you can live my lifestyle in the city, like most people do live in the city already, and you can still do it there. You don't need to be out in the middle of nowhere. And it's kind of the the premise of this channel and my life anyways as it is in reality but th there's a few people that really want to come to Alaska in fact there's a lot more people that want to come but can't come I was just talking to a couple of the people that were planning to come with us and we have to be realistic about this and uh, the reality is that 90 percent of the people that want to come either aren't going to be able to because they work and they won't be able to get enough time off to do that or they can't get over the Canadian border for whatever reason uh, there's a lot of people that can't get over international borders so we have to uh, keep that in mind and the third reason is going to be the most obvious reason funds financing it's not exactly a cheap trip <laughs> to drive up to Alaska and uh, you, you also have to have you know a vehicle in good shape that you think is going to make it there and back as well so I'm still going to do, I mean this summer I have uh, music festivals already paid for, booked, lined up to go to. I'm, I'm going to do a lot of uh, traveling in BC off to the islands and stuff. I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. But for uh, a van centric thing, uh, Line Screw uh, contacted me the other day, a couple of weeks ago, and he suggested something that actually a lot of you had already suggested on my channel months ago. And I kept saying, yeah, that would be a great idea. Basically, a lot of people were saying you guys should do uh, just do a meetup of Vanners. I mean, the, the road trip to Alaska is is another project, but have a meetup. And so, to make this easy, Line Screw had a fantastic idea for doing this. Because everybody's worried about location, and then there's the border issue. Because there's a bunch of us in Canada and a bunch of you in the USA. And uh, but there's a big park not too far away from here in Vancouver the Peace Arch Park those of you from Washington State and BC probably know about it the Peace Arch Park Park is right near the border it's an international park where both Canadians and Americans can roam freely and meet up at the park in the park without having to actually cross the border of course the Peace Arch itself is right in the middle of the park and one side of it is anchored in American soil the other side of it's anchored in Canadian soil and as long as you don't, you know, roam outside of the park, you're you're not going to get shot and killed by border patrol guards. So, <laughs> but this is a great, a great way to make it easy. Because a couple of the people too who were talking about coming up for the Alaska trip, just getting to Vancouver from where they happen to be down south would have been half a trip for them. You know, it would have been a huge trip. And so here I am thinking, geez, that's a long way to go from Vancouver. Well, I could just imagine if you're coming down from even farther south than Vancouver. But this way everyone can meet up we're thinking end of summer and we'll have all our RVs and vans there we'll probably have uh, we'll, we'll organize something with music of course we'll have Jody Peterson there singing of course and um, I think that would just be a fantastic thing and then we can make it an annual event actually he uh, called it RV con you know there's like con there's Comic Con that just happened in Seattle last weekend so we we're like hey let's have an RV con so um, I think it's a great idea, and I'm totally down for this. We're thinking end of summer, uh, so I'm thinking like, I don't know, July or August. I think Line Screw was even saying possibly early September or something like that. We'll see, uh, as long as it doesn't conflict with the festivals when I'm actually on the road out of town. But uh, a lot of people can come to that, like even Nomadic Fanatic himself, Eric, he's right over the, well, he'll be right over the border at that point in, in, in Washington, and he can come too. And again, it doesn't matter if you can get over borders or not, because you're allowed into that park so everybody can mingle and hang out so I think this is a friggin awesome idea we'll have an RV con and um, if it's awesome and fan and, as, and as big of a hit as I think it'll be we could do this every year what do you guys think huh leave your suggestions below and if you like the idea please comment or send a message uh, line screw and I are gonna talk about this we were gonna drive out there and take some footage and all that but we're, we both have very very busy schedules right now and I haven't had time to, to to really go out and do that but it is about 45 minutes an hour away from Vancouver 
uh, not too not too hard to get to at all, and uh, it's it's literally right by the border, so it's super easy for U.S. Uh, travelers to come up over too. All right, I think this will be a lot of fun. Maybe I should do the line screw. Is that how he does it? I'm not sure how he does it. That's just something coming up later on this summer. You know all the other things I'm doing right now too. Pretty pretty busy busy busy. But uh, keep on rocking in the free world, everyone, and hit up the link in my description. Buy your, buy your sticker. Support Jody. All right, cheers. Do it in a van.